What's up everybody? So I thought I'd stop the time lapse um, once we got up here to the top of Highway 18 so you guys can see in real time. Well, I mean not, not real time, but you, you, you can see how long it's gonna take you to get down the hill on the backside. At this time of night, it's 9.31 p.m. This is uh, probably the best route open right now of the two. The other one's Highway 38. It's just a nightmare. Highway 18 could be closed for the next two weeks. By the way, it's February 19th, 2019. And we are uh, just about to start heading down the mountain where it says watch downhill speed and all that, all those signs right there. We're beginning the drive down the mountain. So it's 9.32 p.m. I bet we could, we could be down at the bottom at the Mitsubishi plant by 9.44, 9.45. So 13 minutes or so, 14 minutes without driving reckless. But it is 18 degrees. I'll show you guys real quick so you guys can see it's 18 degrees over here on this side. When I left my house, it was 13. So we've gone up a little bit. Yeah, so once we get to the Mitsubishi plant, that's officially the bottom. Or that's what, you know, everyone considers the bottom on this side back here on Highway 18. So. And that's in Lucerne Valley. And I'm telling you, this In-N-Out burger is going to be awesome. Awesome. It's my excuse. Second reason to go down here. Found out some, some uh, bad news about my favorite aunt. Um, yeah, so just un unfortunate medical stuff. So anyway, I'm just, uh, this is how I'm blowing off steam, kind of. I was supposed to be going out with a friend tonight, going out to dinner after I closed up shop, which was at nine nine tonight. But uh, I just, I had to cancel that and just kind of kind of get away, be with my own thoughts for a while. Anyway, yeah. So we're we're expecting a huge well not a huge storm, but it's an, another winter storm warning. So that's the best warning we can get when it comes to snowfall. Winter storm warning is the best. This season we've had a lot of them but some of them have been for really minuscule amounts of snow and so I'm still wondering why it's like that maybe they uh, were thrown in you know when, when it was extra icy and stuff because I I, I, can't, I don't know the whole protocol for how they uh, you know diagnose I guess you could say whatever's gonna happen or the prognosis type type thing so um, ooh, ooh. It's pretty, pretty sharp little turn right here. So, uh, yeah, how they gauge it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm really not. Um, I always thought it was, you know, just a lot of snow. Like, like it, if it was going to be 6 to 12 inches or something like that, then they would do a winter storm warning. If it, uh, you know, 3 to 6 inches winter storm or, uh, like, a winter weather advisory, or a snow advisory. When I lived in Denver, Colorado for a couple years, we get snow advisories. It was like three to six inches of snow. And winter storm warnings there were like awesome. You know, like a like, like a foot of snow. But here this season, for some reason, it's just been there have been a few storms where it said like like one to three inches during the day and one to three inches at night, and they still had a winter storm warning. So just interesting to me how they calculated how they decide what's going to be in the warning or um, in the advisory or whatnot. So I'm going to look that up, actually. Yeah. Anyway, it's 19 degrees. 9.36 p.m. Yes, once we get back on the, uh, what, like once we pass the Mitsubishi plant, then we'll do the time lapse again. 
I just don't want to uh, let you guys go on this video without seeing how it's going to be, how this drive is going to be down the hill. This is 9.30 at night. Look it up the hill. There's not one car. I don't remember one car passing me. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I remember a few, actually. Sorry. There were a couple. 23 degrees. So, guys, this is the safest route up here. Uh, there are a couple switchbacks that are pretty gnarly coming up here. They're three in a row. Just switch, switch, switch. Um, those can get pretty rough when there's ice, and I'm assuming right now there's going to be some ice on there. So we just got to take it very, very slow, but I'll show you exactly where. It's the most treacherous part of this road. It's 25 degrees. getting down here where it's a little bit above freezing right now at the moment but it's a little bit above freezing and it's gonna be good because then uh, all this ice that's been stuck to my car is gonna melt I'm looking forward to that just these big old chunks underneath I like ran up to it and tried to kick it off and, like almost busted my foot <laughs> Straight ahead, beyond these cars, you can see the city lights down there. Lucerne Valley. You know what, I'll bet in 50 years, down there is going to be as lit up as freaking Los Angeles. Betcha. first switch back of the three. And these can get hectic when it's icy and it's 25 degrees so I'm not going to take any risk. I'm going to assume it's icy. Trust me, you don't want to go into those guardrails even though they might they'll keep you safe. Just uh, That'll just not be a fun experience. <laughs> and here comes another one, 10 miles an hour guys. Be very aware. So we started heading down at 9.32, right? That was seven minutes ago. And here comes the third of the switchbacks. The Thoid. Then they've got this really slow truck who just doesn't care that people are behind him. <laughs> Seriously, dude. So that's it for the switch backs. That's the hardest part of this back side, guys. for 10 minutes to make it down the mountain in 10 minutes that's pretty damn good guys still 25 degrees down here so it's been nine minutes now we have one more minute to get to the Mitsubishi plant I think that'll be almost feasible very cool but at least you guys can see now that it's very drivable you don't need chains you're good And if you see something that says you need chains, there's no one checking for them back here. But there's really nowhere to, there's no ice, there's no snow on the road. No need, no need, bruh. No need for the chains, bruh. 
Okay, we're on the 10th minute now. It's 9.42. Give ourselves a fighting chance here. <laughs> and in these conditions also, it's fantastic. 27 degrees, guys. 27. Look at all these jack and apes going up. Oh, shit. Why are you going so fast around the corner, you bastard? That's way too fast, guys. I should be that it's not smart but check this out oh, look what is to the left of us well let's see are we gonna make it are we gonna make it i don't need to make leaving san Bernardino national forest right there we are at the bottom we made it in 10 minutes guys <laughs> there's the mitsubishi plant to the left there it is we made it 10 minutes it's 9 42 that is awesome guys so you know it's only gonna take you 10 minutes to drive up there you'll be good you'll be good all right, peace out. Let's go back to the tab labs. Yo, what's up everybody? So we made it back to Highway uh, 38. Now we're at the bottom, entering the San Bernardino National Forest, driving up the mountain. So I thought we would do a video in real time, or just real speed actually. Um, so you guys can see what the roads kind of look like and are like at the most dangerous time of the day, which is right now. It's just about midnight. Um, it's February 19th, 2019, about to be February 20th. After this guy passes us, we turn on our brights. Boom. Hope that helps a little more. But we're gonna take this this drive up just like we did on Highway 18 on the at the beginning of this video. We did a time lapse to Highway 18 on the back side where you just start going down, and it only took us 10 minutes on the dot to get down on the back side. Easy, no sliding, no ice, nothing. This this way is gonna be a little different. It's probably gonna be a, a little harder, but that's okay. It's okay, at least you guys are gonna to get to see with your own eyes, so that's important. We're starting down here at 33 degrees at the bottom of the mountain, so you know it's it's gonna be in the low teens when we get up there, maybe single digits. Onyx Summit, maybe close to zero, so that's gonna be pretty cool. To see the temperature, look here, look. 35 at the bottom right here. So that's gonna be pretty neat to see what it is up at Onyx Summit, guys, okay? Because we're gonna be turning the video off and going back to time lapse right after Onyx Summit. Right. 
and I'll keep you guys updated on the temperature. Like, it's it, it's gonna dramatically fall quickly here. And we don't wanna be driving on this road. Like, there's no risk at all because it's very risky. And watch, when we come up to the chain control people, because I think there are gonna be chain control people on this side, I bet they're sound asleep in the Caltrans truck, but that's okay. We're already at snow. You can see snow on the right side of the road. We're already at snow. And guys, I heard this next door on possibility. Um, our, 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 our friend, our YouTube friend, Disney, um, gosh, what's, what's your full username, my friend? I forgot. Dang it. Anyway, Disney something said uh, that Corona could get a little bit of snow down there. So that'd be pretty cool, you guys, if, if you guys get some snow down there. And I wish you guys could see how, this, how the moon is reflecting off of the mountain peaks with all the snow up there. Unfortunately, I'm looking through, through the camera and the camera isn't showing that. It so sucks. That's such an incredible view right there. Holy moly. Temperature's actually 36 now, but it, it's gonna start going down quickly, I assure you. I assure you. 35. Let me take off my jacket. I never undo my seatbelt while I'm driving, but not right now. Let's get my jacket off. My luck, a deer will fly out for the car right now. <sighs> Shut up. Okay. 34 degrees and falling. We get up to um, Angeles Oaks, it'll probably be in the high teens. Oh, maybe. Sorry about that, you guys. The phone was overheating. Gosh, always at the prime moments. I can't stand this iPhone. It's a piece of crap. The iPhone 7 Plus. Mm -hmm. 31 degrees. Oh yeah, now we're right in the dark. Everything looks so beautiful straight ahead. All the white mountains just look incredible at night with this with the moon. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I'm looking through the camera and you can't see that at all. Oh well. It's a bummer. Gosh, it's so beautiful through here, guys. Oh my gosh. I didn't know if those were like police or checkpoint or something. So, unfortunately, I uh, kind of went a little too slow there, but it's okay. It's 30 degrees. 
I'm telling you guys, that moon's reflection off these beautiful snow, snow covered mountains is absolutely marvelous. 29 degrees. Yeah, I'd be interested to see if we could drop 36 degrees by the time we get to Onyx Summit. From 36 down there to, uh, to zero. It'll be close. We'll, I bet we'll be in single digits at least when we get up to, to Onyx. so crystal clear like you, you can see little cabins all up throughout the mountains it's just amazing you guys it's so amazing <coughs> so you guys saw at the bottom there wasn't any sign saying chains required right now it's 30 degrees again <coughs> you didn't see any signs right I didn't see any either, so that's kind of not cool uh, for the people coming up here because when we were driving on the other side of the mountain range, it said change required in mountain areas, back to 29. Caltrans, huh? He's just waiting there for the phone call for the rock fall. Oh shit. Alright good. We're good. So we're starting to hit some some kind of rough pouches already, you guys. That's probably a testament of what's to come. Man, that moon is really making everything bright out here, guys. It looks so amazing. Just incredible. Well, I guess not too bright. Can't turn off the lights and drive. Not that we would, but man, I guess all these guys are going super slow. I don't know what's going on back here. Some of these trails, since they're cut out, they look amazing. They look like amazing ski runs. Um, on like world-class ski resorts, but all they are, are just like uh, hiking trails and, and mountain biking trails and stuff like that that go up along the mountains. Dirt biking trails, just so cool. In the summertime, what we're gonna do is is, is we're gonna definitely do some uh, 
um, like off-roading on 2N10 and 3N10 and 2N09 and Holcomb Valley and just as many of these roads as we can hit without, uh, you know, getting like too gnarly stuck. I don't mind getting stuck in the snow and stuff, but kind of don't like getting just stuck out in Holcomb with no cell phone service. Even though that happened to me with in the snow, I had the Mercedes 500, uh, the ML out there, and uh, I was trying to mob it on the back roads from Holcomb Valley to Green Valley Lake, and the Mercedes got stuck in some really deep snow, and I was shit out of luck. I had to walk all the way out to get cell phone service, so I had to walk three miles in freezing temperatures, deep snow, by myself, nighttime. It sucked. It totally sucked. Thought I was going to get eaten by animals and stuff. The, the whole walk, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. So we're, yeah, we're kind of driving on a little bit of, like, icy. It's, it's 25 degrees, by the way. Oaks down there on the left hand side I never knew that that neighborhood was that big and it looks so pretty under the moon again as, as I'm saying like it looks so bright you can see it almost as if it's daytime with your naked eye unfortunately this dang iPhone stinks Very unfortunate. we're gonna have to take it down for a minute so it doesn't overheat again 24 degrees Told you, temps drop quick, huh? They drop quick, huh? Wondering where the chain checkpoint is going to be. It's probably going to be right up here. I'm thinking. You saw those those signs down below that said, uh, or on on the other side, didn't you? That said, chain checkpoint ahead. Or sorry, chains required in the mountains. Chain checkpoint ahead. I'm thinking about two things at once. Yeah, let's put this back up here. Case. So it would be right around this corner. Look at Angeles Oaks, you guys. Look at that. Look at how much snow. So cool, man. So this is where the, the chain checkpoint area would be. If they're going to have it. And I don't see it. It could be right around this little left corner. That's probably where it is, but there'd be a lot of signs warning you to... Let's see. Let's see. Wow, guys, we made it. No chains. No chains. And it says chains required. When we were driving, uh, well, you guys couldn't see it because it, we were on the time lapse, but I assure you it said chains, chains, re chains required on all mountain roads. Twenty degrees, you guys. It's twenty degrees. Got mighty cold. Some snow patches. <coughs> Just gotta be careful, guys. So I want you to see what it's like driving these these roads. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Swallow that coke down the wrong side. 
<coughs> stopped it in and out. Oh yeah. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, look at this car, poor guy. Stuck right there, oh, that sucks. Um, let's see. Yeah, just take your time, you guys. Um, these roads are a little bit hazardous here on Highway 38. 18 was nothing like this at all. Nothing. It was dry, no snow or ice, even on the switchbacks, you were good. But obviously, just take your time. Because even the thinnest layer of ice can send you going, so. But look at how much snow they got over here. Wow. So it's 12.09 a.m., 21 degrees, just passing through Angeles Oaks on Highway 38. Want you guys to kind of just see how it feels riding with me going up Highway 38 and down Highway 18. Right now, since um, Highway 18 on the front side is closed from the Big Bear Dam to Running Springs. One thing I always thought good about having these high snow berms on the side, well they aren't really that high right now, but is uh, if you lose control, <laughs> sometimes those might actually save your life. But then again, it's the snow's fault for you slipping and sliding, so I guess it cancels it out. I'm still hoping we hit single digits up at uh, top of Monic Summit. <coughs> oh shit, man. Hope we stay on the road <laughs> before we get to Onyx Summit. Jeez. Get back to 20 degrees. We hit 19 here any second. As I said, as long as we hit single digits up top at Onyx Summit, I'll be stoked that we got from 36 down to single digits in no time. only one critique of this mountain range for me it would be it's too small I wish it was like the Sierra or Rocky Mountains or Wasatch or... but it's not chains up here they wouldn't wait this far would they <coughs> I don't think so
out there, stumbling the fumbler. All right, let's see here. Let's get into to the teens. Come on, temperature. We're at 20. Let's get to 19. Let's do it. Ooh. So on these roads, you should never ever feel like you're coming in hot on anything, but if you ever do, just let go of your gas, do not hit your brakes. Just let go of the gas. Just, hit, just let go of the gas. And unfortunately, like that's probably the best you can do. Look straight, look straight ahead, someone accidentally went through. Look at that. But they were able to, you know, back out. So that's good. But someone lost control right there and slid right into the snow berm. Ruin, I should say. It's pretty crazy. <coughs> I was charging in like a little like Honda. Good for him. Oh, glad he has confidence. But like no matter how good of a driver you are, if you don't have the right equipment, it can it can be it can be devastating. So I kind of cleaned up my beard today a little bit. I've been getting a lot of crap about the beard. 19 degrees, boom. I'm getting a lot of crap about the beard. But some of you really like it. And fortunately, uh, I listen to what the women like. <laughs> so all the crap the dudes give me, whatever, dude. It's all good. It's, it's what the ladies like. But I trimmed it, it looks good. I don't look like I'm homeless anymore. I look approachable. Looks like a professional beard. Look at this road, dude. Just trippy looking, huh? Trippy color. Wow, you see those trees down there on the left? That's insane. There's some big ass trees over down. Those are big trees, guys. Of shirts and like sweatshirts made and stuff like that, big bear weather and more. Some of these turns through the mountain range, they're just like so repetitive. <coughs> and it almost looks like you're driving through the same area. 
over and over again. At least for me, it's kind of like that. So right up here uh, is uh, where Christopher Dornan got uh, killed or killed himself. He was that rogue officer from from LA County that just went rogue and killed a bunch of cops. And so if you make a left here, turn left down there, uh, he caught himself up in the house and uh, there was a bunch of ammunition in, in the house, but they think he, he probably shot himself and then um, all the ammunition went off, but he killed a bunch of cops. So what I think happened was uh, some of the cops showed up and killed him then set the house on fire or something <laughs> and said that he killed himself but I agree with the cops actions honestly poor cops man they have to deal with so much BS I have a soft spot in my heart for cops big time as everybody should anyway that's as far political as I'll go, and, and, and that's pretty sad that that's a political statement, <laughs> saying support your cops, <laughs> that's pretty pathetic, that that's, like, that should be just every day, like, you should be celebrating that in schools every day, but, oh well, oh well, 15 degrees, guys, holy cow, look at that, 14 now, Wow, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get down to see just like I thought. I wonder if we'll turn to 13, like right now. I'm sorry. Wow, it's amazing, guys. 14 degrees. That is cold. That is cold, cold, cold. So these roads are gonna be really, really icy. We're 13 degrees now. Wherever there's any, you see any moisture, that's just gonna be ice. Sorry about all the coughing, you guys. I just, I'm a smoker. Not a cigarette smoker, but, you know, after my nice long days of work, I don't sit back and drink alcohol and get drunk anymore. It's been six years for that. After I, I, I sit up and I'm done with everything for the day and I need to just relax and get ready to go to bed, I smoke some herbs. So I'm looking forward to getting home and smoking a little bit of herbs. <laughs> help put me to sleep. I'm just, I'm just super tired right now. And, um, have a lot on my mind about my hand. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, love you guys. I let you guys in on this stuff and let you in on who I am because I care. I care about you guys and I feel like some of you care about me. So, so that's really cool. And I'll take it. Even if it's just one of you who really honestly cares about me, that's awesome. Like I'm just like overly joyed and overly lucky to have one person from this love me. Like, yeah, so that's awesome, guys. But this person in front of us is not too awesome. Definitely not awesome. Still 13 degrees. But yeah, by the time we get up to Onyx Summit, it's it's going to be cold. It's going to be single digits for sure. And I'm going to have to stop at the summit and get out just to feel feel the the, the coldness. I'm, wouldn't it be cool if we got down to zero? But I, I just I don't see it happening. It might. It's 12 now.
time. So now this guy in front of, in front of me is impressing me a little bit. So I don't want him to drive crazy and hurt himself. So I'm backing off a little bit. <coughs> I bet you guys are like, what? Did he just say he's backing off? He's not going to be reckless guy and go around. Nope, I'm not. At least not at this point. Ha, 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 ha. The passing lanes come up shortly. And there are three of them. The, the third and final one is the Onyx Summit one. So look, look over here. Are there any cars coming the other direction? Nope. So save ourselves a little risk. So right over here to the right, there was a car flipped over on its side in the ditch. And I felt really, really, really bad for them. It was just right here on the right. Such a bummer, dude. Such a bummer. Just, just note that. But right after you get past this part, then the road, I think the drive becomes easy because it's pretty straight and the speed limit's high. But you're getting higher up in elevation, so it's getting colder. And you know, any moisture on the road is going to be slicker, flicker, flicker, flick. It's 12 degrees, about to be 11. It's 11 degrees now. Oh, dude. I, I, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. But I'm not going to be going much faster than you were going, bro. Because you were doing just fine. Now we're at 10 degrees, by the way. He was doing just fine. I don't have any need to really go any faster than that. That's kind of why I like being behind people like that. And I tried staying back so he wouldn't do just that. single digits, right? Well, here it comes. Here it comes. To save my face. folks. I don't know why it's so exciting to me, but it is. We started at 35, and then we went up to 36, and now we're at 9. And it's been 30 minutes or so, right? Something like that. That's pretty cool. There aren't many places where people live where you can actually do this. I mean, of course, any mountainous region you could, but maybe not this quickly. Like we're, th this area is an anomaly and it's eight degrees now. Guys, if we get down to zero, that'll be freaking awesome. That would be freaking awesome.
separation. <clears throat> and that moon is making driving so nice out here. It's just so beautiful. Everything's bright. Oh, six degrees. Oh, I went back up to eight. Damn it, man. Why you go back, back up to eight, huh? Oh, now back up to nine, you bastage. Start falling again. We were just at seven. Come on. Come on. Why did it do that? Ten degrees. Should start falling again. Seven thousand feet elevation. <coughs> Eleven degrees. hit seven and I got it on camera not that that's a huge deal but we might hit that temperature maybe five six seven times a year maybe and then uh, the zero degrees is I I didn't see that in Big Bear at all this season I think actually one night yes one night we did but that, but that was it My first year here out in Baldwin, I, I was driving uh, the Mercedes and it got down to minus three. Okay, so it's 11 degrees now. We went from 12 down to 11. Like, we should start falling again, right, Tim? Right, Tim? So, right after Forest Falls, or I mean, Angeles Oaks, it was a little white knuckle for a, a little bit, but not like I was sliding around or anything like that. It was just kind of a little bit on the just kind of icy and snowy side, but not that bad. That's why they didn't have any, anybody checking for chains. 10 degrees. So yeah, maybe we'll get back down to seven or six degrees and see. Right after Onyx Summit, we're going to uh, put it back on the time lapse, I believe, and then I'm going to be able to rock out to music again. But I can't play music during these these freaking videos because it says blocked worldwide, so I won't let me play you guys the videos. And then I try to like edit it to take the take the sound out of the video, so you guys can at least see the video. And it doesn't let me do that. Like it says that it's editing, and it's been editing for like two weeks now. It's this, it's so stupid. YouTube had a really good video editor and they they took it away for some stupid reason. It makes no sense. Why would you take it away? But they did. Anyways, nine degrees. Seven degrees. 
So if we hit six, then I gotta take the camera off and show it because it'll be our record for the drive. <laughs> Man, it'd be cool if we get down to zero, you guys. I really hope we do, but I don't think we have enough altitude to do it. No, and the moves went back up, back up to eight anyway. Unbelievable. Seven seems like it's our lucky number tonight. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty weird. Seven's a lucky number. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. This Mountain Dew bottle's uh, having some serious issues down there. Whoa, there, car. Calm down. Don't get too excited, my friend. Seven degrees again. Come on. Iciest parts of this part of the road, this part of the drive on Highway 38, right through here. But they've actually done a really good job lately. The past couple times I've been driving up here, they've, they've done a great job right there. It's 10 degrees now, coming up to Onyx Summit. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's 14 degrees now. Wow, the temperature just jumps. 15. We're not going to pull over at Onyx Summit because it's not that cold. 16 degrees right here at Onyx Summit, 8,443 feet. It might even go up another degree. <coughs> Okay, time lapse time. Peace out, guys.